Welcome to DT Tech Tips. Today we're going to talk about using a smart device to scan barcodes into Capture One. There are a lot of app-based barcode scanning solutions out there, but the one we're using is called Canoni Barcode Reader, which is available on both iOS and Android devices. Canoni Barcode Reader uses your device's camera to read barcodes. It then uses your Wi-Fi network to send this data to a desktop application. Any barcode you scan with your phone is saved into your computer's clipboard. This can be used in conjunction with Capture One's Next Capture Naming tool. In Capture One, go to the Next Capture Naming tool. Click the ellipsis next to the Format text box to bring up your naming tokens. Your file naming conventions are up to your own discretion. For now, I'm going to use the current date naming token set to year, month, day. I'll add underscore paintings underscore. I'll get rid of the name and camera counter, but I'll add the clipboard contents token. This token will reference whatever is copied into the computer's clipboard. Since the barcode scanner application copies barcode information into the clipboard, whatever barcode I scan will be added to my next file name. Now, all I have to do is hit Capture. And just like that, my image has barcode data included in its file name. For my next capture, all I have to do is scan the next barcode. This automatically overwrites the previous clipboard content. Now, I'm ready to continue imaging. If you have any questions about Capture One, or if there's something you'd like Digital Transitions to cover in the future, drop us a line at info at digitaltransitions.com.